Producing over 500 hours per week of talk radio, GCN Live is a world leader in talk radio. Archives for the following program can be found at GCNlive.com. What is up? Good morning and greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable and you know... You can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on the Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 28 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human body is always a healing system, a regenerating system. It is always designed divinely to heal and renew itself. No doctors needed, no drugs needed, no pharmacists needed, no Obamacare needed. It does it on its own. It needs the raw materials to do its work. And while some folks may call this healing, renewing system a miracle, it is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. 855-660-4261 is our number. 855-660-4261. If you have questions about prescription drugs, health care, uh, uh, any kind of health care issues, health challenges you may be dealing with. If you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 855-660-4261 is our number on the bright side. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible. 855-660-4261 is our bright side number. If you want to join in on our weekly phone calls, myself and health coach uh, uh, Dixie Sedgwick do weekly phone calls on various health topics. Uh, we'll be talking about Ebola this, this Sunday. We do them every Sunday, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. 605-562-3140 is the phone number, 605-562-3140. And then hit participant access code 444-973-POUND, 444-973-POUND. If you're in the Olean or upstate New York area, Olean, New York, Buffalo, New York, upstate Pennsylvania, Binghamton, we're going to be doing, myself and uh, certified fitness trainer Jonathan Smith, will be doing a free health seminar Tuesday, October 21st, coming up this Tuesday, 7 p.m. We'll talk for a couple hours, take questions, give away some product. 401 East State Street, Olean, New York. The zip code is 14760. Give Jonathan a call at 646-258-0148. Let him know that you're going to come by. Uh, seating is limited, so please let him know. Uh, 646-258-0148. Uh, 646-258-0148. 646-258-0148. That's Jonathan's number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products that you hear us advertise on the program, please go to brightsideben.com and please click on the Join the Team link. Love to have you as a member of the team, and I especially love to have you as a business builder. If you're interested in uh, building yourself a longevity business, I can help you do that. Like I'm helping Jonathan, um, help, uh, I'll help anybody who is interested in building a business. I can fly out and do talks, and we can generate you some uh, generate some business for you. Uh, Please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Tell them you want to be a business builder or tell them you just want to join the team for a one-time $10 fee. Or you can click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com. Okay, we are talking about zinc. I love this stuff. I think zinc's my favorite of all the minerals. Non, Relatively non-toxic, pretty much non-toxic mineral, very common uh, deficiency. Zinc deficiencies are really common. Zinc not in the soil. We'll talk about this whole thing with the soils here. Uh, soil depletion of minerals probably on our next Bright Side episode, or maybe today we'll get to it. Zinc is water-soluble. Or zinc salts are water-soluble, so they tend to be leached out 
uh, very quickly out of the soil, along with selenium. Selenium is the same way, along with sulfur. These, this idea of mineral deficiencies in the soil is so, so significant. You know, you could, we're all freaked out by Ebola. Everybody's talking about Ebola, but nobody's talking about what could be, in my opinion, one of the biggest health crises ever in the history of mankind, of biblical proportions, and that, that is this topsoil issue. The soil is a living organism. The soil is a living organism. This is why when people complain or, or freak out about the minerals in, um, in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, some of these other mineral products, this is why they miss the boat or why they're, what they're not understanding. The soil is a living organism that can convert minerals and matter into non-toxic nutrients. But the soils have been corrupted and drenched in pesticides and fertilizers and toxins for over a hundred years, at least a hundred years. And this has resulted in dead soil. Not to mention the fact that with damming up the rivers, we lose the silt. It's an unbelievable epi epi uh, uh, tragedy, health tragedy of epic proportions, of biblical proportions. And we're all freaking out about the silly Ebola stuff. Not that it, Ebola is silly to have it, but the freak out about Ebola is silly. Anyway, we're talking zinc, which by the way is very important for building the immune system. Zinc deficiencies are very common. Last uh, Brightside episode we were talking about zinc in the prostate. Zinc is one of the most, maybe the most important mineral for protecting the prostate. Certain, certainly selenium is also important. If you're using your ProstFX from longevity, you're going to get zinc in its most premium form, zinc monomethionine. Prostate is very dependent on fats. Vitamin D, vitamin E. I wonder if uh, sometimes I wonder how much of our vitamin, our uh, prostate, so-called prostate problems that everybody seems to have over the age of 40 or 50, all men seem to have over the age of 40 or 50, some degree of BPH or worse. I wonder how much of that is related to nutritional deficiencies or eating the wrong kinds of fats. Vitamin E, vitamin D, getting some sunshine, your ultimate EFAs. These are nutrients that can be very helpful for the prostate. Some folks use saw palmetto. I'm not convinced about saw palmetto yet, but some folks use saw palmetto as an herb for the prostate. Beta cytosterol, one of the all-time great and one of the all-time underappreciated nutrients, very important for the prostate as well. Beta cytosterol or beta cytosterol, some people say. Try, if you're getting up in the middle of the night, if you're a guy and you're getting up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom multiple times, try taking 325 or 350 or 400 milligrams of beta cytosterol and see what happens. Give it a couple of days, watch what happens, and then take your ProstFX. If you're like most people, between the ProstFX, maybe a little extra zinc, and the beta cytosterol, you're going to notice a dramatic reduction in the, uh, in the amount of times you get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. The prostate's a fatty structure, as I say, so fat metabolism is important. Laying off fatty trans fats and hydrogenated fats very important. Prostate disease is, it really affects everybody, all men over the age of 60. A cancer is a type of prostate cancer. All cancer is a type of growth disease. BPH, benign prostatic hypertrophy, hyper meaning lots, uh, benign hyper, uh, hyperplasia. Is that a benign hyper? Hyperplasia. I don't forgot what they say, but anyways, it's a growth issue, and zinc's a growth mineral. The classic sign of zinc deficiency, as we said yesterday, is poor growth. Zinc is a growth hormone, or a growth mineral, I should say. Zinc is also involved in protein metabolism, helps you process protein. And zinc's not just protective against prostate cancer, by the way. It's protective against all cancers. It's a major player in genetics. In fact, your genes contain something called zinc fingers, which are little extensions that contain zinc. And they're involved in how cells divide and how cells reproduce. It's not a stretch to say that for all growth issues, for all cell dividing issues, for better or worse, there's going to be some involvement uh, for this mineral, this incredibly important mineral, zinc. If you have estrogen dominance, if you have problems with estrogen, and remember, estrogen is a stress hormone, so if you're making lots of estrogen, if your body's under stress, if you're not processing estrogen correctly, the odds are pretty good that you're running into zinc deficiency. Zinc, uh, uh, birth control pills, all estrogen can cause an excretion of zinc, excess excretion of zinc. So if you're on the birth control pill, if you're on hormone replacement therapy, and you're using estrogen, if you're a high estrogen producer, if you have something called PCOS, PCOS is really interesting, a polycystic ovarian syndrome, it's kind of an interesting estrogenic issue, and if you're dealing with PCOS, think zinc, 50 milligrams a day. 
I'll tell you about, a little bit more about PCOS. Finish up on zinc here when we come back from our break and take your phone calls as well. 855-660-4261 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. All right, we're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Thank you for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive page, brightsideben.com. Got a shopping cart up there. You can check out with all the longevity products you hear advertised on the program. We have a Join the Team link that you can click on, and we would love to have you on the Brightside Ben team, especially if you're a business builder and you want to really generate some money and start yourself a, a nice, healthy business. If you're an entrepreneur and you want to explore network marketing, and you want to explore network marketing in a business where you can really help people, where you can really change lives, where you can really make a difference and make money at the same time, you really owe it to yourself to at least look into joining the longevity team and joining my team, the Brightside Ben team. I can help you. I can help. Uh, I can come out and do talks for you. I'll be doing a talk for my friend Jonathan Smith next week in Olean, New York. Love to have you out if you're in the area, uh, up, uh, upstate New York area or upstate Pennsylvania area. Call Jonathan at 646-258-0148. Seating is limited. 646-258-0148 is his number. And that's uh, Tuesday, October 21st, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. 401 East State Street at the Century Manor Grill House in Olean, New York. The zip code is 14760. And I will be staying. The talk goes from 7 to 9, but I will be staying there as long as, as, long as I need to to answer all your questions and make sure you're fully satisfied, have all your health concerns and health questions addressed and answered. And that's next Tuesday, the 21st of October. Okay, our number today is 855-660-4261. We'll try to get in, uh, try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible. And uh, let's see what else I could tell you here. Check out my blog, too, pharmacistben.com, which we update regularly with news stories and blog posts. Thank you to my friend Robert Lundgren. And also, if you're interested in being put on the list to be notified when we do our, when we release our videos, uh, myself and health coach Amanda Rideout are doing weekly YouTube videos on skin care. Uh, we're covering acne now seven different types of acne and uh, if you want to be on a new video will come out today for you guys who are who are on the list and then if you want to be on the list send me an email ben at ksco.com will get you set up we talked a little bit about androgenic acne type 1 acne and a derivative of androgenic acne PCOS acne polycystic ovarian syndrome this is a really terrible terrible health issue, polycystic ovarian syndrome, because there's lots of cysts in the ovaries, these kinds, these patients, PCOS patients, are making lots of estrogen. Cysts in the ovaries make estrogen. Why do you have cysts in the ovaries? Usually has to do with insulin and testosterone, which means your PCOS patient is going to have problems with blood sugar, problems with male hormones, excess male hormones, or excess, uh, excess super male hormones, and problems with estrogen. So you got a woman who is, um, has all the estrogenic signs, uh, bloating and problems with her period and cysts and fibroids, sluggishness, headaches, problems sleeping. These are all signs of excess estrogen, zinc deficiencies, and then uh, problems with testosterone, body hair, thinning hair on the head, acne, oily skin. Can you imagine this? Got a, a patient now who's, who's heavy, can't lose weight, has a, a problem sleeping, anxiety, cramping, cysts, fibroids, feels miserable, acne, oily skin, body hair, facial hair, and thinning hair on top of the head. This is a horrible, horrible condition. And one of the easiest ways, in fact, the easiest way to address PCOS is to address blood sugar. In fact, that's the way you address PCOS. PCOS is primarily a blood sugar disease. It's dysglycemia in combination with problems processing hormones. One of the best things you can do if you have PCOS or if you know somebody who has PCOS is get on zinc, 50 milligrams a day. Not only is PCOS induced by zinc deficiency, but it causes zinc deficiency as well. So between excess estrogen causing you to lose zinc and between uh, and not getting enough zinc in the first place or problems with metabolizing sugar burning through your zinc, all you need to do, chances are anyway, to improve the condition is get on 50 milligrams of zinc. You probably need to do more to completely eliminate it, but to improve PCOS, 50 milligrams of zinc is a must. If you have those little white spots in your nails, that could be an indicator of zinc deficiencies. 
If you have the little white spots in your nails, you're probably deficient in a lot of things. It could be a problem absorbing minerals or it could be a problem in ta taking in minerals. B vitamins also are associated with those little spots in the nails. What does B vitamin deficiencies and zinc deficiencies have in common? Well, aside from the fact that we're not getting